Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and this is the fourth video of the Firebase real-time database tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the data. For this, I'm going to use these materials. First of all, click event listener on the recycler view. And then uh, I'm going to use the navigation component to go from the uh, home fragment to the update fragment. And then I'm going to use the safe art to pass the data from the uh, recycler view adapter to the update fragment. And then uh, I'm going to pass the data, the updated data to the uh, real time database. Uh, I will put the link of the related videos down below in the description box. The safe arc, click even listener, and also uh, the previous videos of this tutorial. So if you don't know any of them, first of all, go and watch those videos, then come back here. Otherwise, uh, this video will be a bit confusing for you. But during this video i am going to briefly explain the like previous the data uh, okay let's start with adding the new destination here the update fragment i'm going to get plus get new destination next update fragment okay and uh, we want to go from this uh, fragment the add uh, sorry from the home fragment to this fragment so just like this and from this fragment you want to come back again to the home fragment so we need this too. and that's good I'm going to change this uh, label to update and okay that's enough for here uh, I'm going to cut this video here uh, I'm going to uh, create this layout uh, for the fragment update and also I'm going to write the uh, stuff uh, related to the view binding into this uh, fragment kt file and then i will come back for the rest of the video and let me tell you that uh, the layout of uh, this fragment will be completely the same as the add fragment we will have these two edit text and one button to send the updated data okay this is the update fragment and if you want to copy the code i will slowly scroll down the text feel free to pause the video and copy them and here the Kotlin file of this uh, fragment and everything is ready to write the code first of all let's go to the uh, recycler view adapter we want to write a code here to navigate from the uh, home fragment to the update fragment first let's go to this uh, layout of the recycler view and here for the constraint layout I need an ID and I'm going to call it RV short for recycler view underscore uh, container and that's cool let's go to the recycler view adapter and here RV dot sorry RV container dot set on uh, click listener on here find nav controller then Holder dot item view dot navigate sorry and here I need a value I'm going to call it action 
equals to uh, before that we should do something else uh, we should uh, uh, write the dependencies that are here related to the safe args uh, you can search for the uh, navigation component safe args and here into the developers website you will find this uh, data so uh, we need these dependencies and the plugin here in the project here uh, i need this line i will put the link of this uh, dependencies or maybe directly the codes into the description below don't worry so the repository i need also and in the gradle modular app here in the top i need one of these two plugins no matter i'm going to choose the first one and think what's the problem okay the build is done let's go back to the recycler view adapter here mm, this is the home fragment so home fragment directions dot uh, action home fragment uh, to update fragment this one and here we will pass this action into the navigation okay now we want to extract the data uh, from the uh, this the list that we have created here and pass them uh, to the update fragment so uh, inside this I'm going to write uh, before that let's go to the navigation and here uh, the destination file is update fragment we are going to select it and we need three variables here so plus first the id and the type of it is a string add then the name a string add then on and a string and add we have these three items here uh now in the recycler view we can write the code to pass uh, the data here so current item dot uh, id dot to string then the name so current item dot name dot to string and then uh, current item dot phone number dot to string now the data is passed uh, from the uh, recycler view adapter uh, to the update fragment and uh, we have to extract the data so let's go to the update fragment here i'm going to write 
value for private um, args with a type of update fragment args uh, by nav args okay. here After extracting the data, we should display them into the edit text and uh, give the, this option to the user to uh, update the data, to edit the data. So, edit text name dot set text will be args dot name and the same for the phone number. okay uh, till now we pass the data and uh, if we check it on the emulator we should see the data into the update fragment let's check if it works or not okay i'm clicking on one of the items and as you see i'm seeing this data here into the edit text and i can add anything i want to this just like that uh, after passing uh, the data into the uh, real-time database we should be able to see it, the new data the change data here into the recycler view so let's uh, write the code for this uh, here I'm going to write uh, the button update dot set on click listener and I'm going to create a, f a function so update yeah and uh, we need three values here first the name equals to binding dot edit text name dot text dot to string and we are extracting the updated uh, text from the edit text and the same for the phone number and then uh, let's create here the reference uh, for the database private late init variable uh, variable reference with a type of database reference and here we should initialize it so firebase reference equals to firebase database reference dot get instance dot get reference and here we are passing the name of our uh, database the same contact the same as we had it uh, here the context and uh, everything here will be the same as the uh, add uh, fragment but uh, here the add fragment in the add fragment uh, we have created a random id a unique random id for each uh, uh, child now we are passing 
the exact ID that we have extracted from the recycler view in order to rewrite to uh, overwrite the new data on the same uh, child the rest will be the same so we should create this value as well and pass them here into the reference so let's write them and it will be clear for you equals to contact uh, model and then i'm going to pass the id which will be r the dot id then the new data in the name and the phone number these two and in the next line we are passing them to the reference dot child the child will get the same id uh, so again args dot id and then set value we are passing the contacts variable here and uh, as here uh, we have created these two listeners we need these two the same so i'm going to copy them and paste them the data is stored successfully so i'm going to change it to updated and the error will be the same so everything is all set let's check it on the emulator and i'm going to the console at firebase uh, here is our data the contacts and the child and let me open the child's here okay i'm going to use this last one which was my name mohsen i'm going to click on it uh, i have the text and the number here i'm going to change the number one 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 and change my name to subscribe please update data and you see that the data is updated here and uh, you saw the uh, toast message as well now if i go back you will see here subscribe please and one 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 and the data is changed successfully if you want to automatically go back to the uh, home fragment after pressing this uh, button uh, we can write the code here find nav controller dot navigate uh, r dot id dot action update fragment to home fragment just like this and after clicking on this button we will go back automatically to the uh, home fragment so this one was empty and i'm going to write something here and a random text and update the toast message and the updated data is here okay uh, that was everything about uh, this video and in the next video i'm going to show you how to delete the items of this recycler view and uh, delete them at the same time from the real-time database and uh, i think that will be the uh, last video of this tutorial so be with me in the next video and i will show you uh, this topic uh, thank you very much for your time uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be aware about the new videos and give me a thumbs up to help this video be watched by more people bye bye